Hey folks, welcome to the video. It's Johnny Keeley here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can post your landscape or your panorama images to Instagram in the form of a carousel that is seamless and you can just swipe through the entire image. This is a great way to post landscape and panorama images in a way that takes up more of the phone screen because the main image is in portrait and also getting a little bit more engagement for people swiping through. That means they're spending a bit more time on your post which tells Instagram that it's interesting and therefore Instagram shows it to more people and more people will see it. If you're new to the channel, we cover sort of photography stuff, video stuff and social media stuff. So if any of those things interest you, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. So we're going to do all of this from a phone and we're going to do it from an app. There are probably a few different apps, but the one I'm going to use is called Panorama Splitter. I'll put an example up uh, of it in the app store here. Now, once you've downloaded that and you've opened it, you need to hit this button here to start and you need to hit select image. And we're going to go to all photos and swipe until we found the image we want to use, which is this one. Uh, now, this is a landscape image, so we're going to split this into two. So the person has to swipe through twice to see the whole image. Uh, so we're going to hit split and split into two. This bit's quite simple actually. Uh, now we can see that the, the join between them is perfect and this sort of gives you a preview of the way that you're going to be able to see it on Instagram. So save photo to library. Okay, that's been added to library. Uh, so let's post it to Instagram. I'm going to do this on an alt account uh, with no followers or anything so I can make a few mistakes and no one's going to care. So as you open it, you're going to hit this little button in the bottom left and you're also going to hit the multiple photo button in the bottom right. Now as you do that, it's going to select the second photo first automatically. So unselect that one and select this one. So one, two, that means that this is the first image and this is the second image. That's quite important. There's another mistake that can be made here as well, which is if you accidentally zoom in and hit next, you can see that those don't line up. Uh, so make sure you don't accidentally zoom in and if you have to resize any of them, just don't do it because you're not going to be able to get it perfect. So just try and size it outside of the app. Anyway, let's do this again. So we're going to select number one, number two. Hold on, there we go. Number one and number two. Now we're going to hit next. Now we can see that that's, that looks perfect to me. So hit next and share. Okay, yeah, so you can see that's seamlessly glued the two together and that's a nice little uh, carousel between the two. So let's do this with three images now. Now this is going to be our third image. Now you'll notice that this is portrait because I want to sort of push this to its limit. I'm going to grab the middle of this photo. So I'm going to just pull these down. This can be a bit funny, right? I'm going to pull these down. And you kind of want to, you see those little boxes there, you can sort of split it into three. Um, and that's about right, but I think this is going to be slightly too big and I'll, I'll make sense in a minute. So I'm going to now split that into three. Now you can see it split the images, but they're not necessarily four by five, uh, which means Instagram's going to crop them again and also means that I may need to reposition them. So the way that you can do that, I've tried to make it so that the center point of the image is the bit I want to keep, but let's just save these to photo library and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so now that we've done that, we are going to go back to Instagram and I'm going to post. So here we go. Uh, again, we hit do the same process, but we're going to change that from first. This is the first one. This is the second one. That is the third one. Actually, I think it looks fine, uh, but if we wanted, we can swipe down. You see what I did there? So now that I've moved it, it's not a good idea for me to post it. But if you just swipe all the way down on all of them, that should be perfect. So see what I did? It started off about here and I swiped all the way down. I know I said before not to move them around or anything, but if you do the same movement on all of them, it should be fine. So let's hit next and see. Um, yeah, that looks like it's gonna be okay for me. You can see they don't quite line up, but there is a black line between them. So they should be fine. So we're gonna hit next, share. Let's just wait a minute for that to post. Okay, so that is posted. Yep, that is seamless. So see we have those three images here, so the person you need to swipe through. So this is great, that's how you do it. You wanna add captions, hashtags, just like the other ones, and when you're tagging, you know, you can tag in all three, 
um, just like you would on a normal carousel. But just be careful not to move them around too much. You know, you have to be aware that if you're zooming into them and things like that, you're not gonna be able to get it to line up right. So just be careful with that. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. I have a whole bunch of other Instagram tutorials and photography stuff. I'll put that on the screen right now. There's a little round one in the middle there. If you hit that, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.